Hey, it's Friendship Simulator. We're here. Uh, I just want to say one quick thing before uh, we get started. This is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That's not what I was going to say, but... Um... Okay, you remember, you guys, the last um, the last episode, there's a part where um, there was, like, this big noise, and I'm all like, what the fuck was that? And Brian's like, it's probably just someone outside, and I'm all like, I don't know, but okay. Um, that was a fucking meteor <laughs> slamming into the earth near us in Michigan, that, that's and uh, that's, that's, that's why it was such a big sound. <laughs> That, that, I, that's if you believe mainstream media. It could be a directed energy weapon, according to some news sources. Yes, that <laughs> that is a thing Dan just said. Anyways, um, I I don't. It picked up me being like what. Anyways, in Michigan we don't have fucking earthquakes or ones that you can't really hear, like so. Uh, I'm just saying that's uh, that's why I was all like, what the what? Like it just felt really weird, I and I thought it was something hear weird. Anything? I was in the car. And yeah, you were driving. I kind of saw it. I thought it was lightning. I just saw it as someone slamming their car door. I was just surprised because it shook the whole ground, and I was all like, what is that? And you're like, oh, it's just a car. And we're like, oh, oh okay. I felt weird after that. I felt like there was something wrong because I don't normally stop what I'm doing when something like that happens. It wasn't that loud of a sound, though. I think that was another thing, too. Um, I felt nothing. I only barely heard it. But anyways, uh, the other thing I wanted to say is um, I've been doing some eBay lately, and I went home, and just I was looking online and hearing people talking about how uh, aliens had come and uh, about the meteor, I literally looked online and I read that about two seconds before I saw that I won a uh, an Earthbound figurine on eBay. I would like won the auction. It was uh, for Jeff, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I got an Earthbound figure for like a dollar. Pretty cool. Anyways, um, we've sat on here. Sorry, it was a it was a meteor, okay? And it was we don't get that stuff. A chunk of rock done flew in from space and hit us. So, um, I don't really know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, we're in Upside Down Castle. We, we've Spoilers. already been there. It's not a spoiler. They, they know now. Yeah. Spoilers. I mean, we spoiled it so many times. Um, I'm still using the Star Rod for some reason. Spoilers. Um, so, uh, I went home and I got to play Street Fighter. Um, let's find out where we're going. Can you do that? <laughs> uh, it's me. Uh, so I played Street Fighter. You want uh, you want to guess how that went? Uh, was it as horrible as you expected? No. I'm not sure if Rob's expectations were as that bad. We got Alucard mail, or Alucard mail. Sorry. Is it even any better? Oh yes, it is. So first piece of the Alucard set. As soon as you get all of them, you become Alucard. Oh wait. Anyways, um, I didn't mean to have so much silence after that. I just didn't know how to respond <laughs> to it. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> you, know, you thought. You thought maybe something funny was gonna come out when you said it, but then we're it was just throwing, we're just throwing things at the wall, seeing what sticks. Right, that's fair. Uh, spaghetti style. That's how you know the noodles are done. Wasn't this a boss before? No. Yes. Yes, you're right. And then she fell off the screen. Did you see that? Um. Oh, we've already been up there. Oh, we're going, we're going down. We're up. Oh, media. You know, I could be using a better weapon. I just don't know. Yeah, you're, uh, you're hooked on this fucking, uh... She fell again! What the, thing. what the... I think that's just her death animation. No, it's not. <laughs> If you're, if you're being serious, if you're not making a joke, it's totally not her death animation. 
You know what? We're just gonna fog through here. I could put on the spike breaker armor actually. I'll do that. Put back on the spike breaker Why, why do you armor. still have holy glasses equipped? Uh, you're right. Thanks. Even though the stat increase is like not noticeable. Report by cactus. I can restore. We got him min max this shit. I forgot to get. I was supposed to get the uh the one that scared enemies. Also, don't forget the spike breaker. Please. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. Miss, miss, I just keep missing. Oh, I got the sword card out. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, Street Fighter. Um, I'm just gonna be trying to be quicker with it. Uh, yeah, there are actual arcade modes. And there's a bunch of them, like they said. Uh, they have difficulty settings. Only three instead of the eight that they have in the, um, normal thing. In the, uh, like in the versus mode or in a training. But, it's difficulty settings. And they have, um, uh, yeah, they have, like, what, five, six different arcade variations or something like that? Um, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Uh, but, seems like a fan mod. <laughs> Listen, I am fairly happy with it. I like the game. It's playable now. It's finally playable. But, sorry, they didn't. They clearly spent very little time on it. They clearly didn't really give a shit. Um, the AI is brain dead. Literally, most of the time. Well, it's a uh, bot. What do you No. <laughs> no, they've always had good AI. Even in Street Fighter 4, the AI was good. Uh, they will literally noticeably sit there like idiots. They sit there and they do this. They'll, like, it'd be in the corner, and they'll just sit there, and they'll duck, and they'll block. And sometimes, they'll empty jump. They'll just go and do nothing. Well, they might jump at you. That's what the pros do, right? Um, they actually do act a little bit like trolls. Like, about, like a little bit like, um... I can't remember if I need to read, like, reaccess. Oh, no, I only... This is the only one I have. Um, no, it's surprisingly bad. I forgot to unlock the warp. That's not good. Back at the start. I didn't unlock the board. Okay. Okay. Um, and sadly, I was about to library card, but that actually takes you to upside, right side up here. Okay, this Cthulhu one over here. How do you call him? Why did it say another card? Right? Ouch. How do I? Did he just leave again? He's just fucking gone. He's just like, no. Cthulhu don't get it. I don't know why. I need to start fogging. Damn, they can serve up the damage. Did he heal me? Something healed you. Did he heal me with the pump? What am I... Like that, who needs <gasps> poison damage! They can heal me! <laughs> I guess that was poison damage. Interesting. Let's see if I can get him to heal me more. I'm gonna try that again. We'll just, we'll just see. Okay, yeah, a 393 is my max. Dude, don't talk about that. You know, kids were actually fucking doing that, right? Yeah. Yeah! Heals me! What adults have uh, gotten killed by it? Killed? People are getting killed by yeah, it? Yeah, like eight people have died. Don't eat Tide Pods. It was just a joke. Do, do it was not a meme. Eat Tide Pods. Do not eat Tide Pods. If, if you listen to anything Friendship Simulator says, it's don't eat Tide Pods. Okay, this guy is a real asshole. He can hit so hard, but I'm going to try and attack him a little bit. Yeah, he's... he's strong. We're not even going to lie. Um... So back to Street Fighter. No, get that! Oh, it's just a fucking stone. No. Can't even hit me. Oh, 
hit me with that shit. Thanks, sword. I should have let him. Sword's got your back. See him hit me hit from behind? That back swing's good. Oh, it's the Sword of Harder! Let's look at the description. So remember, this was a big deal sword you back when you were a kid. House of Harder Heirloom. <laughs> Say that five times fast. <laughs> so is this a good sword? No. Is it way better? It's not it's... that much better. Yeah, but you're it's like look a hoarder better, man. Look how much look how fast this is. And it has better range. And it has the backswing. Sorry, like people who play this game will be like, no, Star Play. Don't know. I would assume I haven't actually like looked any of this stuff up stuff up before. through here. Um, oh, Swordman actually deals damage to him. And I'll probably be dead later. Yeah. Might as well. Stabby McStabber. These were awesome bosses. Yes, I gotta learn this. I had a toilet following me? Ooh. That was a sword. I, no, I didn't know what you were talking about, actually. Don't question the way Brian uses the toilet. What do you. Yeah, I just don't I just don't understand. I just didn't understand what he was saying. You don't, you don't have toilet swords? I didn't see anything that looked like a toilet. There was a flame that came out of the guy. I think he's talking about the watch. This? Looks like a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. It's like a dancing toilet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Get that dancing toilet out. I guess we got a toilet. We're on a bathroom break right now. Everyone's on a bathroom break. That's that's why everyone stands still because they don't want to interrupt you while you're you're doing your business. I can't believe it does look a little bit like a toilet. Did I actually save a copy? I don't remember. I probably did. But, um, okay. Street Fighter. It was not distracted. Um, Does Street Fighter have toilets in it? <laughs> it's kind of shitty. Um, it, uh... They are so fucking bad and it's so unpolished. I wish they would have, instead of having five very subpar uh, modes, I wish they would have just had fucking, um... One good arcade mode. You know what I mean? Like, that's another thing. Uh, even though they do have difficulty settings, and you can. What the fuck was. Oh. Oh, I don't this. No, not Dark Metamorphosis. That's not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to do Soul Steel. Thanks. No, that's not Soul Steel. Is everyone having fun with me doing just random button presses to... Oh my god, knock from the range. No, I didn't want to do that. How do I soul steal? I don't remember. Okay, we're not going to soul steal. Is that the one that involves holding the direction for a second? God damn it. Anyways. Um... Oh, you want no bosses in here? You'll like him. This is a boss. Oh no, this isn't that boss. Never mind. Um. So yeah, no, it, it's just, it's good. It's playable. It's fine. Oh, it's Graham. Here's another one that you used to go on about. The sword named Graham. Wait, is that is that actually a good? Is that slash fast? No, it's so slow. And it stops you. That's... Okay. 
Uh, it's just, it's just, I, I expected worse. Uh, but oh, oh, another thing, enemies aren't random. It's not random opponents. It's time to strip it. But they did the cool thing from Street Fighter uh, Three, where you get to pick your next opponent. But it's, it's not really random. It just, it feels like early access arcade mode. And I'm tired of these fucking early access betas that they charge you sixty dollars for and don't tell you are, are unfinished. Like it's stupid. It's still shitty Street Fighter, at least, but it's finally playable now. So you can still have fun with it. Um, another thing that happened, uh, I was too excited to talk about the new characters with one of my friends, and I ended up buying the season pass. Oh, here's a boss. Oh, this boss is actually a little bit tough. It's super amazing. Do you know what this boss is referencing, Dan? When you see it actually happening? Yes. Oh, these actually... It's getting grand... Yeah. I can't move. Probably. No, the sword's good. You know, get the fuck out of here, Grand. I don't remember if there's a, uh... There we go. Grand's done. Oh, we'll fight several left. I think he actually gets really scary. Oh, he's fucked. Sorry, Trevor. Oh, wait, no, she revives him! That's right! She just... No, this is awesome because you get this guy. <laughs> so, like, Trevor Michael Jackson. Or, or Sipha. I don't know. She's one of my favorite Castlevania characters, but I always forget her name. She's so good in three. Anyways, that's supposed to be, I think, one of the harder bosses in Upside Down Castle, but it wasn't a big deal. So. I had Alucard Man equipped, too, so I've got, I had good armor. <coughs> Should have probably paused while I was coughing. No, they are upside down. Oh, great, another one of these guys. A lot of these guys. How's that for memorization? Now this is maybe something good? Fury play. Let's see what this does. I don't even remember this one. I don't think I get it that often. Defense goes up when damage is taken. That... Doesn't make sense for Fury Plate, but okay. So when you get hurt, it makes you angry and makes you less. I would have used it. I don't know if it does. Right, I'll use it. You I'll should, put it on once I've saved. You more damage when you take damage with something called Fury Plate, I feel. Maybe it's Fury Plate, is it? You're in. Afraid. I'm afraid to tell you that that joke shouldn't make any sense. I wish. Look at all these bosses. This is Dark Souls Scholar Person. Right, I'm getting out of here. Thanks, sword. Ouch. Good sword. Man, that sword. I because I just never usually use the familiars, but I think I don't use the sword because once again it feels a little bit overpowered. But it's not the it's not the uh, shield rod, so it's okay. I'll, I'll allow it. It's one time. Do you think we should buy the spells from the librarian? You can buy a thing that like tells you what it is. Just look them up. 
Oh, it's dumb. I mean, it's spending. But it puts it in the menu so you can look it up every time in the menu. I don't feel like you're going to tell it. As soon as you do it, it's in your menu, though. No, but you can put it in the menu and. Oh, oh I, guess you, I guess it's true. It's in the game! Why not just use it in the game? I don't like looking things up. If you don't have to. If you don't have to. What, what are we gonna use money for other than potions? There might be money over here. I keep hitting. I, ca I call it gas. I keep hitting the gas button, but there's no gas. Um. What? I don't. I, I don't. I don't understand. I'm not trying to insult you or no sell your joke. I just don't get it. Oh. oh. That was a bit of. That was a bit of a. Is that an actual problem they have? Like that's a little bit of a marketing snap here. Oh, I think I heard of that. It is, okay, real quick. That was a that was a top gear joke, wasn't it? No, something I remember from uh, school, a class in college. Mm. Um. All right. Great. Oh, please, please, I just don't want to be. Excuse me. We really need to get the alley card sword like a soon or another weapon to where I can like Eh. Alright, I think this might be one of the worst places. Uh what is it, Chrisagram? Is it an arena? We should probably go there soon. What? Is it a Alicard Sword is not a random drop, it's a, it's in a place. I don't understand why Death would scatter your shit around the castle. I think he was just hiding it in a place where he thought I would never find it. And it just, that's what they were from the beginning. Because he's a trickster, I don't know. Maybe you should, like, equip someone with all that Well, maybe when you're Death, you can do that. I don't get my ass kicked every game if I was there. Damn it! Because <laughs> that's the way that you kill a lot of things, and I just. Alright. I couldn't stop it once I was a bat. I didn't think I didn't think I would get rattled that far. You shut the fuck up. You would have made a million more mistakes than that. Someone there. who plays Reinhardt, I can understand. <laughs> how many how many how many pits have you like dove into? Oh, these guys suck. No! <laughs> no! They're cuties, but they're annoying cuties. Flash! Magic missile. Oh my god, is that from the... Is that a meme that they ended up like using in that uh, Don't you remember that, that game? Was, like, there was like a bonus thing in a game. Like, the yeah, yeah, you and Andrew kept showing like we're obsessed with it for a minute. Well, we I didn't know it was uh, initially. I thought that they created it, but it was actually from like a meme before that or something. They just took the audio from it and they put it well, into the. Is that the white hood or a hat? 
No, that is a clansman. I think it's a clansman, Edgelord, but... Just look at it! And I just think he's... He looks more like a... Ow, he hit me. I'm trying to... No, he just looks like a... Actually, a good use. Of... Yeah, really good at getting the they're pretty good at. I like how it's a... it's not that they. Wow, they're good at accurate. You're really bad. I didn't say you were bad. <laughs> You're really good at being bad at this game. Yeah, I know. I thought you were doing it on purpose. To show those awesome arrow arrow physics. Um. So, anyway, since because it seems like I'm not getting my. Finishing my Street Fighter conversation. Get away from me. Ooh, I killed both of them. Okay, but here's the other thing that they did. Better than they expe I expected, but looking back on it now, it's kind of like... It's still unfinished. It's annoying. They don't have enough characters in certain modes. Like the Street Fighter 1 mode... It's the guy's not in the game yet, so it doesn't have the boss of that mode. It just, it just, I don't know. It, it just, they should have just made a good mode instead of making... The only reason they put out the thing was not because Capcom are a bunch of good guys trying to, like, please the fans. It's because their reputation was in the fucking gutter from the worst Street Fighter they've ever made ever. And they were trying to make them happy. Oh, yes, it was. It was 100%. They're trying to make them happy. No, I know! To drag their reputation up so that people actually bought all the DLC that they did. Yes, they do! They care about the reputation so they can make sales. The reputation so that people don't, like, boycott the game. That's exactly what I was saying! Why are you contradicting me? If proven anything, it's that you don't need good reputation to sell Yes, you do! You do need to have some sort of a reputation. You want to have it enough? You, it doesn't matter. You can have an okay reputation, just enough so that you're selling a bunch of... Uh, DLC characters and loot boxes and whatever, and that's what they're doing. Like, it's not, it's exactly what I'm saying. So, I don't know why you're being like, anyways, moving on from that weird contradiction that you put in there for no reason. Um, I, uh, but here's the funny thing about that you know how you used to be able to earn like fight money a little bit, and it was a pain in the ass? I actually, like, did the math, and if you did all the weekly challenges. And, uh, you could earn a character in, if you did the weekly challenges, uh, for 13 weeks, about, I think, uh, if you signed in every week for 13 weeks, you could earn one character with that. Uh, they recently, with the dropping of, uh, arcade mode, they removed most of the ways to earn fight money. They cut the fight money in half from weekly challenges. So now it is 26 months per character if you're doing everything perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, to make up for this, they added in new modes where you can earn, quote unquote, more fight money. You can't. But you have to gamble fight money to do it. <laughs> oh, good. And, um, so yeah. No, they made this to drag their reputation out of the dirt so they could continue their initial plan of selling so much DLC. That's what this is. It's a DLC machine that kind of functions. And, yeah, they're shitheads. So it's just like one step forward, two steps back. I, the step forward was one I happened to like, having an arcade mode so the game's actually playable finally. Good. But, holy shit. It's an unplayable, ugh. I, I sort of like it. I have fun with it. But it's not very good. Compared to any other Street Fighter, it's bad. It's bad. So, good job Capcom for, uh, you know, finally putting out a slightly functional game.
for finally like fixing it. It only took you two years after it's not beta release, it's official release. Uh if you just played online like you were supposed yeah, to. Yeah, like I was supposed to. It's unfinished online. Like it's just and those people, those competitive people that are being like, like making that argument too, of just being like, "Well, you're not supposed to be playing." Uh, oh, I should save. You're not supposed. It's stupid to play arcade, anyways. It's stupid arcade. You guys are fucking killing the competitive scene because you want to know what people were before they got competitive. They were casual. You want to know what gets casual into your game? Fun. The game's not fun for casuals anymore at all. Like it is a little bit now, but it barely functions. Once people realize how bad the AI is and how bad the game is still. You're not going to get anyone in this game, and that's what's happening, and you guys are so short-sighted that you're like, no, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's putting us first. No, it, it's it, it's putting you only. You guys are the only people that get paid attention to. So, like, fuck off. Like, like just, just fuck off. These, these fucking competitive people that, and these, these people that fucking, there are so many people that are apologizing for Capcom's bullshit, being like, you can earn characters for free. It's so awful. It takes so much time. It's so tedious. And now it's double. It's more than double that now. Everyone's just going to buy them. I, I, I just got sick of it. And I'm like, I'm not dealing with this. And I bought the season pass. Because I want to play Sagat and Blanca and see the new characters. And Sakura is free right now. But she's also... Do you remember this guy? This is a pretty Wait, cool guy. hold on. They didn't have Blanca in the normal game? No, Blanca's not in the normal game. A lot of the characters were in the normal game. Too. Oh, here's another thing that's... Oh, okay, I should probably... Uh, so this is what you do. He's really cool. I think his name's Lord of the Flies. Real hard boss. He's a cool boss though, because he takes the whole fucking screen. And he summons flies. Pretty cool, right? Brian, what time are we at? Eject. I feel like we're over. Here. Okay, after this boss, we're gonna clear. I'll try and fight him normal a little bit. There you go. Why do you never use the watch? The uh, watch is amazing. Upside down castle. Well, it's weird to me that it A affects bosses at all, but B that, like, it doesn't seem to affect uh, most things in upside down castle. Uh, it, watch is never supposed to affect strong things. It doesn't oh my god! Does everything in right side down? It squeezes a lot of things, but I might get fucked up here. Good thing you feel bad to fall back on. Oh my god. Can't. A, there is timing. You're a bat and they are not right now. Not right now. Down. See, he's done. You're done. All right. They're big flies. Okay, can we talk about how cool this is? Oh, it's the devil. Let me get in the center so I can make a gif out of this. Wait, let me go to this side. Is that a good gif? Wait for it, wait for the sword to go up. And then it goes down. It's and then it goes back up again. Yeah. I have a close friend who actually pronounces it gif. Have I talked about this? Really? Yeah, like legitimately. Really bad taste no, no, she's amazing, but for some weird reason, she actively she pronounced it. She's a really good gift maker. I'm not gonna say who she is though, because I don't want to embarrass her. But she knows. Why do you pronounce it gif? It's not peanut butter. Um. No, there's actually more people than you would expect to pronounce it that way. Oh, I've, I've, I, I, I've come I, across I go on Reddit, I see the massive arguments. Wait, there are actual arguments now? Oh, oh, there. There. oh yes. It comes up a lot. Just remember, uh, everyone, choosing moms choose the GIF. Choosey. Get it right or don't fucking make the joke. It wasn't a good joke. I don't know why I was mean to him. Thanks for watching Friendship Simulator. I love you. It's Castlevania Simulator. Bye.